Hello, my name is Aviva, and today I'm going to tell you what I thought about Priest by Sierra Simone. So for a while now, I've been seeing so many people raving about this book on TikTok, about how it's really steamy, really crazy, really extra taboo, and just like next level something you want to check out sort of vibes. And I was pushing it off for an extremely long while because I'm not Catholic, I'm not Christian, I don't know anything about churches or priests or anything like that. And because of that, I didn't think that I would really enjoy reading about a book where the main guy is a priest. And then I randomly saw somebody mention how they love this book and if you're not into religion or anything like that, you can still read it and it would be a great time. Like it's not a very preachy sort of book. And after I heard that person say it, I'm like, okay, fine. Why don't I check it out? Because I really feel like knowing what everybody is crazy about. So I got it and unfortunately I absolutely hated it. Literally, it's probably going to be one of my least favorite books from the year and it's only the beginning of January. So that is really saying something. So I'm not sure why I'm holding this book up the entire time because all we're talking about in this video is this book. So I'm going to put it down and not look like a weirdo. But I first want to tell you what this book is actually about and then I'll tell you why I didn't like it. So in this book, you're basically following Tyler. It's mainly a male's point of view. And a couple of years ago, he walked into his garage one day and found that his sister hung herself. And therefore, there are trigger warnings for sister suicide because of sexual assault. Basically, she left a suicide note saying that she killed herself because she has been sexually abused by their pastor, priest, whatever you want to call it, for a couple of years now. And she also left a list of exactly what was done to her and who else it was done to. And because of that, they basically went to the police and they blew up their church. Like, you know, they got rid of the guy and they kind of ruined the community. And therefore, everybody kind of hated their family. And Tyler felt really bad about that. So he decided to become a priest to try to fix his community again and make it whole. And he's basically now been a priest for three years now. And one day this girl named Poppy walks in to a confession and starts telling him what she's been doing wrong and that she's lost and she needs some guidance. And the thing is, is that the reason why she's lost is has a very sexual nature. She basically has been working for a strip club and she is a very sexual person. She really likes having sex. She likes when guys are looking at her and want her and everything like that. And she basically confesses all of this to this 29 year old very horny priest and the second that he hears her voice he's basically instantly attracted to her and basically can't hold back so throughout this book they are basically going to have a lot of really dirty really filthy sex throughout his church and his home and everything you can think of they have sex on the altar and they have sex on top of a piano and then you know they basically just do really dirty stuff and the whole time they're basically extremely attracted to each other can't really stay away but because he is a priest he has to be a celibate and therefore the entire book he has a lot of guilt just for being attracted to this woman and they basically fall in love and stuff happens so for the reasons that I didn't like this book, I should point out right now that the only positive thing that I enjoyed in this book was the sexual content, except I don't care for steamy scenes if I'm not connecting to the characters or there wasn't good angst, build up tension, all that sort of stuff. And it didn't have a good plot line to back it up. And because I wasn't connected to anything on the book, not even just not connected, I didn't like it. Like I actually was very much not enjoying it. I didn't really care for the sex scenes and also I just will say that I thought it was going to be crazier than it was. It was just a bit of like BDSM, a little bit more of just like on the more like intense side of that. Like it was more aggressive, more hardcore, a little bit just like dirtier. Like it just had a dirty vibe going on. But honestly, I expected it to be even crazier somehow based off of how crazy everybody was like, you know, hyping this book up. And I was disappointed on that sense just a little bit. But besides for the sexual nature of this book, I really didn't like anything about it. I'm not Catholic. I already said this. And therefore I couldn't connect to anything else that was happening in this book. Like Tyler felt a ton of guilt just for having to be celibate because he's a priest. And honestly, I can't connect to that guilt whatsoever. And I didn't really like reading a book where this guy is an extremely horny, very aggressive sexual person. And he had to hold himself back because he made a promise. Like I get that in, you know, the religious aspect, like 
like that happened, but I couldn't connect to it whatsoever. And then everything else about this book read very churchy, very religious-y. Like I could not stand the way that, you know, Tyler was thinking and everything that happened in this book. Like from beginning to end, it just felt very much like it was written by a religious person or someone who is very heavy on knowing everything about like the Bible and religion and everything that has to do with that stuff. So basically, I really didn't like anything about this book. I feel like I can babble on for like literally forever. But besides for the writing style, the topic of the book, and then obviously the sexual nature, I also really wasn't a fan of Poppy. Like take off the idea that Tyler had a ton of guilt. Like if he took that away, I possibly could have liked him, but I really didn't like Poppy at all. She definitely instigated him from the second that it started. Like she came in and she basically was trying to seduce him. And then she later felt guilty about trying to make him break his celibacy. And the way that the book ended, like the, everything that happened before the happily ever after that like broke them apart for a minute before they got back together, had to do with that idea and I just absolutely hated it. It was one of those like let's hurt him because we love him sort of vibes and I hate that as one of those like catalyst ending sort of booms and basically I really wasn't a fan of Poppy. Like from beginning to end, I there's no reason to keep going. I just didn't like her. So if you're somebody who has already read this book and you really enjoyed it, then good for you. I'm very happy that you liked it. I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but not everybody has the same taste in books. Everybody's looking for something else. And just because you enjoyed it and I didn't, doesn't mean that I'm necessarily bashing your taste. We just have a different taste in general. I feel like a lot of people who pick up this book are picking it up because of this smut. And if you're into that, you don't really care about connecting to the characters and you don't really care for a heavy plot line and everything like that and you just want the smut, you'll probably enjoy this book. But I personally need a little bit more and that is one of the many reasons why I didn't like this book. So I happen to hate making these sort of videos because I don't really pre-plan what I'm going to tell you guys. Like I finished this book yesterday. I posted a quick review to it on Instagram. I then chatted to a bunch of people about my thoughts on it and we all tended to agree. Some of us disagreed, whatever it is. And then I slept. I woke up and now I'm here chatting. I didn't really plan what I'm going to tell you. So honestly, I probably forgot to mention a couple of important things. And I'm going to start editing this video and I'm going to post it. And then I'm going to be like, oh, damn, if only I said this. So I'm saying right now that I probably could have made this video a little bit longer. I probably have more things I could have bashed on this book, but I feel like I said enough. So I'm curious to know if you are going to try out this book, even though I already said everything that I said. Did you read this book? Book maybe and you really enjoyed it and you know we just have different tastes let me know down in the comment section below what you thought or what you're thinking or anything like that you know I just like hearing from you guys but anyway thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up if you're not currently subscribed to my channel then please hit that subscribe button and anyway again thank you for watching and until next time enjoy reading <music>